I'm Saqib Sheikh. I lost my sight when I was seven. And shortly after that, I went to a school for the blind. And that's where I was introduced to talking computers. And that really opened up a whole new world of opportunities. I joined Microsoft 10 years ago as a software engineer. I love making things which improve people's lives. And one of the things I've always dreamt of since I was at university was this idea of something that could tell you at any moment what's going on around you. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. I see two faces, 40 year old man with a beard looking surprised, 20 year old woman looking happy. The app can describe the general age and gender of the people around me and what their emotions are, which is incredible. One of the things that's most useful about the app is the ability to read out text. Hello, good afternoon. Here's your menu. Great, thank you. I can use the app on my phone to take a picture of the menu and it's going to guide me on how to take that correct photo. Move camera to the bottom right and away from the document and then it'll recognize the text. Read me the headings. I see appetizers, salads, paninis, pizzas, pastas. Hi. Years ago, this was science fiction. I never thought it would be something that you could actually do, but artificial intelligence is improving at an ever faster rate. And I'm really excited to see where we can take hey. this. As engineers, we're always standing on the shoulders of giants building on top of what went before. And in this case, we've taken years of research from Microsoft Research to pull this off. I think it's a young girl throwing an orange frisbee in the park. For me, it's about taking that far off dream and building it one step at a time. I think this is just the beginning. This project is uh, a sign language translator. It translates from one sign language to another. It helps the hearing and the deaf communicate. Imagine a, a deaf person walking into a doctor's office. The doctor is a regular doctor, probably can't speak in sign language. Hello, my name is Dr. Wong. What is hurting you? But the patient wants to communicate with the doctor. Today they'd have to use uh, maybe writing and it would be very artificial. But here with this technology, they could use signing and the doctor would be able to understand that that's signing. So another scenario is a, an information kiosk, say at an airport. Hello, how can I help you? And rather than say the person seeking information at that kiosk being deaf, imagine if the person at the information kiosk was, was deaf. Which way is the taxi stand? Now a hearing person could come to that kiosk and ask taxi? questions of the deaf person, and the system could help them communicate with the deaf person and vice versa. Please go outside the terminal and make a left. Mm. Great, thank you. We approach a blind pedestrian walking down the street. Nearest address is Turin Linanti 12, Helsinki, 20 meters at 10 o'clock, heading west. She is comfortable as she walks, but her journey is enhanced as she is advised by speech and tones to places of interest. Ben, Aksha, 50 meters at 10 o'clock, Bus station, HSL at Akeskas Bus Intermittently, 110 meters at 2 o'clock. And alerted as she approaches the mall entrance. It is shopping mall entrance, southwest. Chapasasi, four doors. Doors on the left are automated. A second set of doors after the vestibule. An elevator at the end of the hallway 10 meters away. Listen as she is alerted to the presence of an elevator, the presence of vending machines, and building exits. All conveyed hands-free as she walks. Elevator, minus two floor. No hesitation, no need to ask for help. Autonomous travel indoors. Imagine. Escalator, minus one. Sepalog. 